What's up, everybody? The Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel on this Monday, Cyber Monday, so to speak. Um, hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. I know we've already said this and whatnot, but um, tonight on Raw, you know, a lot of people were were unhappy with the results um, of uh, Monday Night Raw last week after a super super ending to Survivor Series. Uh, but you know, you gotta understand. You know, you can't have a great show every week, um, regardless whether it's live or not and whatnot. But anyway, tonight, um, you know, here's here's my thing with Raw right now. Okay. They went back to the anonymous general manager, which I hated always in the past before. Um, and then they've been also talking about bringing back celebrity general managers, which, which I didn't really like either, because most of the time these celebrities had nothing to do with the world of professional wrestling. They were just there to draw for the WWE because people like these people, and uh, they figured they'd tune in to watch them and see what they would do. Uh, my way of thinking, get a general manager right now. This is this is what you could do, okay? Um, and they could have done this a while back. First off, is John Cena, are they going to talk about his control of the authority? Uh, are they going to utilize this storyline? Are we going to hear anything more about it? Because, quite frankly, on Monday Night Raw, we really didn't hear anything. Are they going to nix this storyline and just, you know, we're, we're supposed to all forget about the fact that Team Cena won and John Cena is the only one that can, uh, you know, renew the rights of the authority to come back? Um, and be on uh, WWE in an authoritative measure. I don't think they should nix this storyline. I think, you know, with a, a little bit of creativeness, I think they could work this pretty well. Um, I wouldn't even mind seeing John Cena being the general manager just, just for something different for the WWE. We saw Daniel Bryan run the show pretty much last week, which was sort of pretty cool. Uh, tonight, being Cyber Monday, the fans are going to get involved. They're going to, you know, have a lot to say with the stipulations of matches and whatnot, who will face who. Uh, but that leads me to the point where Daniel Bryan's injury, he's been out for so long. And all the WWE really needed to do was, you know, pick a guy like Daniel Bryan, um, you know, that's not going to be able to wrestle and appoint him as GM while he's out on the shelf, not being able to wrestle. You could have done the same thing with Roman Reigns or any of the number of other wrestlers that aren't able to participate within the squared circle. Uh, I think it's too late to do that now, uh, but I think it'd be pretty cool. I know a lot of people will hate it, but I think it'd be pretty neat if John Cena was in control of uh, booking matches from Monday Night Raw. I think it would just be something that it'd be just a different dimension by the WWE. Let's face it, John Cena gets a lot of hate anyway, and it's undeservedly so. Um, people just, you know, the bottom line is they're tired of seeing John Cena. And, you know, uh, it's not John Cena's fault. It's the booking of the WWE. With the injuries of Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns, Randy Orton being gone, I mean, you got to have one of your top superstars, you know, really being there for that main event. And um, who else is there, really, but John Cena? Unless Triple H decides to uh, put the trunks back on and get himself involved, which I'm surprised he hasn't done that yet. Uh, I'm sure we're going to see him at WrestleMania because Triple H, you know, when it comes to a major, major event, he's got to get himself into the spotlight. And it's been a week of, you know, the CM Punk Art of Wrestling podcast, which really turned a lot of eyes around and uh, opened a lot of eyes for a lot of many um, wrestling uh, fans out here. And regardless whether you believe what CM Punk said or not, the bottom line is it has to open your eyes and make you wonder, you know, if this is really true, uh, what goes on within the WWE. I have my opinion. I've stated my opinion. I'm not going to get into that. Um, but so anyway, there we have Raw tonight. Um, 
I don't know if you people out there like that anonymous general general manager because I hate it when Michael Cole goes up to the podium, opens up the laptop and goes, and I quote, I'm, I like to take that and I quote and shove it down Michael Cole's throat because I'm sick and tired of Michael Cole for one thing. Um, and I know he is never going to be gone from WWE play by play. And I, have, I don't have a problem with him being on one show, but on SmackDown, he doesn't need to be there. JBL doesn't need to be there. Let Tom Phillips and Renee Young be the commentating team. I mean, this is the perfect, perfect scenario for Renee Young because Renee Young will end up being gone from the WWE because I know ESPN is, you know, talking about, um, you know, wanting her to sign with them. And as we all know, ESPN has many, many female anchors and commentators uh, within their many, many aspects of sports. And I think she would fit in quite well. Um, would really any sporting venue for that matter. Um, so the WWE should be smart and utilize her. But for, I don't know, if you guys like the anonymous GM, you know, that's you guys. I personally don't. Um, I don't like the celebrity GMs. I just, um, it's people that are there, there just to promote whatever they're doing. Um, and you know, and it gives a little bit of a, a bump in the ratings for the WWE. Uh, but I would like to see somebody that's on the shelf in the WWE, you know, you know, like a Daniel Bryan, because you don't want the fans to forget. You want them to, you know, relive, you know, the great moments of, you know, like a Daniel Bryan had in recent past, um, his huge victory over Triple H at WrestleMania 30, uh, overcoming the triple threat match for the WWE World Heavyweight title against Batista and Randy Orton. So these are things that, you know, by keeping Daniel Bryan on, you know, it, you know, fans don't forget, you know, but um, the WWE is, they got to learn to move ahead and not backwards. And that is part of their, their problem. They've done this for a very long time because when pay-per-views come up and whatnot, how many times, how many articles have we read? Hulk Hogan is trying to lure Stone Cold Steve Austin now uh, out of retirement for a match at WrestleMania. Um, on Twitter, he's been bad-mouthing John Cena. Um, on TV, he's a big John Cena fan. I mean, Hulk Hogan is looking to get himself back into the spotlight once again. You know, maybe you guys want to see it. I personally, it's in the past. It's over and done with. It's time to move on. It's time to push these younger stars. And that's what they really need to do. So, in any event, this is the Iceman here on the Iceman's Return YouTube channel.